everyone, Tiana here. I hope you all had a fantastic March. We are heading into the month of April soon, and it's that time again that we will take a look at all cozy games that we'll be releasing this month for the Switch and PC. And don't forget to hit the little like button and subscribe down below if you want to see more videos like these. Alright, let's get started. I will be going in release order as well, just so there's some order to this and I'm not just throwing games at you. The first game that I have on this list is called Planet Tiles. Planet Tiles is a serene city builder with roguelike elements. Create natural habitats on remote planets as you satisfy quests and earn bonuses with strategically placed ecosystems. As the biomes you cultivate grow, so do your resources to build. The landscape reacts to your choices. Turn a few scraggly trees into a lush forest and create distinct biomes by placing tiles to satisfy quests and activate power-ups. Embrace a board game like depth with thoughtful planning and strategic decision making. Planet Tiles will be releasing on April 3rd for the PC. The next game on the list is Spirit City Lo-Fi Sessions. And this is more of a focus tool rather than a game, but is able to combine soft, soothing lo-fi music and soundscapes with a gamified experience to assist you in accomplishing your to-do list. While engaging in your tasks, you'll uncover and gather virtual spirits, enticing them out by combining various room activities, soundscapes, and decorations. It also comes equipped with practical features to enhance productivity and streamline tasks organization through an integrated to-do list. You can accomplish focus work intervals effortlessly using the Pompadouro timer and cultivate healthy habits with the built-in tracker. Whether you aim to establish a serene study ambience or simply desire background music when winding down, Spirit City Lo-Fi Sessions will help with relaxation and concentration feel even more rewarding. Spirit City Lo-Fi Sessions will be out for the PC on April 8th. Next, we have an adorable gardening game called Botany Manor. Welcome to Botany Manor, a stately home in the 19th century. You play as inhabitant Arabelle Green, a retired botanist. Explore your house and gardens, filled with research and puzzles to figure out the ideal habitat of forgotten flora. Grow each plant to discover the mysterious qualities they hold. The plants you will need to grow are quite fussy and finding their ideal habitat will sometimes be quite tricky. You will need to gather information by inspecting clues such as botanical posters, newspapers, letters, paintings, and postcards. Anything you may come across can be a clue to your research. Definitely think outside the box. Botany Manor will be released on April 9th for both the Switch and PC. After Botany Manor, we have a game that has been on Steam for a few years now, but is finally making its way to the Switch, and that is Moon Glow Bay. Everything in the seaside town of Moon Glow Bay has seen better days. That includes you, a middle-aged accountant who's moved out of the big city for a fresh start. But things never go quite to plan, do they? The moment-to-moment -moment of Moon Glow Bay is chilled-out experience of getting out onto the waves exploring various biomes, catching fish, and cooking them up to sell or gift to the townspeople. But within that is an exploration of things going awry and letting go of old dreams in order to build new ones. Moon Glow Bay will be on the Switch on April 11th. Next, we have a cute witchy take on farming with critter crops. Sylvie's story begins as a newfound witch that has been chased out of her hometown for her abilities. When she arrives on Mutter Island, she discovers she is capable of growing magical critter crops that will aid her in restoring the island to its former glory. Uncover the secrets of the island by growing magical critters in this isometric role-playing management game. Farm, noodle, mine, Gather and explore the island in order to level up your abilities and uncover more of the mysteries of Mutter Island. Gather resources to help restore Murmur Town and use your critters to help you traverse the wild areas of the island. Critter crops will be available for the PC on April 15th. Next is Planet of Lana. 
This game has already been out on Steam for a little under a year now and is making its way over to the Switch. Planet of Lana is about a planet that used to be a place of undisturbed balance between human, nature, and animal has now become something else entirely. The disharmony that has been in the making for hundreds of years has finally arrived in the form of a faceless army. But this is not a story about war. This is a story about a vibrant, beautiful planet and the journey to keep it that way. Planet of Lana will be out on April 16th for the Switch. After Planet of Lana, we have Europa. On the moon Europa, a lush terraform paradise in Jupiter's shadow, an android named Z sets out in search of answers. Run, glide, and fly across the landscape, solve mysteries in the ruins of a fallen utopia, and discover the story of the last human alive. Europa is a peaceful game of adventure, exploration, and meditation. As you travel, you'll gradually upgrade the capabilities of your Zephra jetpack, boosting yourself further through the air until you can float freely into the sky. Europa will be released on the PC on April 16th. Next is Odd Sparks, an automation adventure. Explore a strange fantasy world, uncover the mysteries of the past, automate your workshops, and go on adventures with your odd and adorable sparks. If you love to build and untangle small messes, and love the thought of making your own little machine and seeing it work, in Odd Sparks, you'll design automated workshops and put your sparks to work in carrying and crafting everything you could need, including more sparks. Take your sparks for an adventure into procedurally generated worlds, face unusual enemies like spunnies and beelephants as you explore diverse and distinct biomes. Find your mundane and magical resources amidst forgotten runes. Bring your newfound knowledge and all the stuff you've made back home to your village. Help your village grow, share, and learn from the folks that you've grown up with. With this new technology and the secrets of the past, what changes will you spark in the world around you? Odd Sparks and Automation Adventure will be out on April 25th for the PC. Next, we have a cute game that takes place underwater as you get to play as a cute little crab. Another Crab's Treasure is a Souls-like adventure set in a crumbling underwater world. As Krill the Hermit Crab, in this undersea society, trash is not the only way of life, but a valuable resource, used for everything from fashion to firearms. You'll need to wear the trash around you as shells to withstand attacks from enemies many times your size. The ocean goes deeper than one can imagine. Embark on an epic treasure hunt to buy back your repossessed shell and discover the dark secrets behind the polluted ocean. Another crab's treasure will be available on April 25th for both the Switch and PC. And the last game that I have to share with you for this month is Echoes of the Plum Grove. A new life awaits you in Honeywood. After you wash onto the island shores, you'll find yourself the newly minted owner to a humble plot of land. Pull up your sleeves, grab your tools, and get to work building a farm that will last not only a lifetime, but span generations. Echoes of Plum Grove is a casual, cozy farm simulator where your decisions have consequences. What to plant, what to stock for the winter, and who to befriend will shape not only the town of Honeywood, but the island itself. Echoes of Plum Grove will be available to play on April 29th for the PC. And that is going to be it for April's Cozy Games. Let me know what you think down in the comments, and if any of these pique your interest at all. Will you be picking any of these games up right away? I think that I am most excited for on this list is Critter Crops. It's just so cute and definitely a unique take on farming with magical creatures that you are able to grow. I hope you enjoyed this month's cozy games and don't forget to hit the little like button on the way out if you haven't already and subscribe below for more content like this. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have an amazing rest of your day. Bye!